Marc Lalonde grew up in the family home on Ile Perrault, west of Montreal. After earning a law degree at the University of Montreal and reading politics, philosophy, and economics at Oxford, he served as policy advisor to Lester Pearson and as chief of staff for Pierre Trudeau. When he won a seat in Parliament in 1972, he was appointed to cabinet as Minister of Health and Welfare. He was also very much a liberal liberal, uh, that is to say a, a liberal with a genuine concern for other people and, and with the role of the state in terms of helping people who, who need help. And secondly, he was from Quebec, and, and it, is, it is often true that, I think Monique Béjean, for example, that many of the most progressive health ministers we've had in this country have come from the province of Quebec. And thirdly, it was an issue which clearly was in need of some considerable creativity and new policy thinking. And g given how smart he was, that was a very natural setting. Monsieur Lalonde's deputy minister of health was the former dean of medicine at the University of Sherbrooke, Dr. Maurice Leclerc, a brilliant clinician and administrator who was already well known for thinking outside the box. Even in the early 60s, uh, Maurice was on uh, interventions and uh, in the hospital committees and the meetings was always uh, promoting uh, better health care and a way to improve it. So these devotions for the patients and for the system of health care at that time was obvious and uh, a little bit also uh, different from the main avenues he was he was promoting ideas that was were way ahead of his time the two men appreciated each other's strengths immediately and set about bringing a new energy to the department he was a man uh, uh, with uh, very broad uh, open mind uh, uh, he was uh, an innovator there was a man who uh, was not taking anything for granted, was, was, had a questioning mind. Um, and uh, so it was a pleasure to work with him. Uh, uh, he was a very, very bright individual in all respects. And I'd also practiced medicine and was continued to practice medicine on Saturday morning, why, even while he was uh, a deputy minister. He would. Uh, keep his hand at it by going to do some service at the hospital in Ottawa. On me demande souvent comment un sous-ministre peut travailler avec son ministre. Et euh, une des raisons pour lesquelles on a eu autant de succès avec ce document-là, c'est la force de, de, de Marc Lalonde, qui, en parenthèse, trois semaines avant la publication du document, avait déjà donné un discours à ce sujet-là. Et euh, Marc Lalonde, c'est un, un type qui est toujours... Euh, au courant de tous ces dossiers. Je me rappelle une fois, euh, je lui disais quelque chose, il m'a dit, ben, je pense que ce n'est pas ce que tu m'as dit il y a quelques mois. Alors, je dis, non, non, c'est exactement ce que je vous ai dit il y a quelques mois. Fait qu Après quelques minutes là, de part et d'autre, d'argumentation, il dit, un instant, c'est levé, il était là, c'est filière, c'est un dossier, il a ouvert, il dit, voici ce que tu m'as dit il y a trois mois. Il avait parfaitement raison, je l'avais oublié. Alors ça, c'est Macron. Et ça nous a aidé énormément d'avoir quelqu'un avec une force de caractère et uh, quelqu'un qui faisait son travail très bien tout le temps. When Monsieur Lalonde took over at Health and Welfare, Dr. Leclerc had already established a think tank headed by Hubert Laframboise to look at ways of improving the health of Canadians. With the minister's enthusiastic support, the department published a new perspective on the health of Canadians in 1974. What Maurice Leclerc and his colleagues uh, and Minister Marc Lelon were able to uh, uh, present was uh, recognition that determinants of health extended far beyond uh, health care and that we neglected the, the policies in different areas of uh, education, of employment, uh, of dealing with poverty and so on, which were profound determinants of uh, the outcomes, uh, the incidence of disease and what happened to patients uh, once they were ill. It wasn't that healthcare uh, wasn't an important component of that, but it was an insufficient element to really move to a, a health strategy. And that, that was a turning point. 
To experienced bureaucrats like Monsieur Lalonde and Dr. Leclerc, the initial tepid response inside Canada was unsurprising. Government green papers are rarely earth-shattering. It was the reaction in the rest of the world that caught everyone by surprise. The first uh, thing that we noticed is within six months, approximately, uh, of the publication, um, the New England Journal of Medicine, uh, in the world, number one medical journal, we call it a hard journal, they're hard and soft, but this was the number one of all, New England Journal of Medicine had a review of it. And the editorialist said that, that uh, this was the, the most important, um, uh, most important uh, advance in medicine in the last 25 years. And then, it took us within a year or so, we find out that at Harvard, at Don, John Hopkins, at Berkeley, those three we knew about, but there were many others, that the document was an absolute must for all students. They had to have this. The deputy minister in Australia or senior public health official in the UK or uh, senior people in the United States and so on all said that in their view, probably the best single government report on the issue of promoting health and a healthy lifestyle had been what they called the Lalonde Report. And, you know, this is nearly 30 years afterward. Most of the time in politics, you know, we are right on sand. Uh, uh, events change and uh, then what was right at a particular time becomes uh, irrelevant or past, uh, has passed its time and something different has to be done. And uh, uh, it's um, wonderful to have been able to contribute with the help of the officials I had at the time uh, to contribute to something that seems to have had a lasting impact. In the years that followed the release of A New Perspective, both men went on to prestigious careers. Marc Lalonde in international law and Maurice Leclerc as chair and CEO of Canadian National Railways. But in everything they've done, they've displayed the same combination of leadership and devotion to service that helped make this seminal report possible. I think that the public service gave me much more than I was able to give, except obviously for this contribution, but that was not my contribution alone. Uh, the person uh, most responsible was Hubert Laframboise and his team. But it was even more than that. It was uh, the... the, the uh, uh, all of this really belongs to a department called National Health and Welfare, which over the space of three to four years was able to, to produce a worldwide recognized document. And uh, in terms of uh, the new perspective, uh, what gives me uh, greater satisfaction is to see how it has influenced uh, the teaching in uh, faculties uh, having to do with health, whether it is nursing, uh, medicine, public health generally and not only dom domestically but internationally. Um, it just came at the right moment, there's nothing uh, magic about it, but uh, it seemed to have uh, crystallized uh, the analysis of the health issues at a time when the public uh, and the public actors generally were ready to go for it and um, they have been going for it ever since.